Hello guys, good day to you, welcome to this new video, Andrew from Mill Happy Games here. Today we're going to see a little bit about God of War Bethes, because they are coming quite frequently right now. And you can see that Remy here on Twitter just announced that Beta 6 is out. He's claiming that now they're releasing a beta every week, and that's great. And it's huge, like he says, right? Now, the fact here is that these betas, they are coming out silently. They're not making that big of that big of noise out there. This means that they are very focused on the project and they're making a lot of things. Now, beta 4 came out on 4th of November and actually it's been a while and this came quite silently, but actually there were some improvements. Definitely they improved Android, uh, they improved the time map actually, because they were having some problems with with time map and a new thing here and interesting is actually the camera 3d that has no gizmo that you can click inside the scene of the 3d scene and that's a thing that was missing and now you can move camera directly from you know acting on these gizmos there is some support for ultras texture in radial modes of the texture progress bar because texture progress bar are important if you want to make you know your oe cool they fix the drawing of 2d primitives in opengl render as well and in the visual shader they add the math operator to the node names for easier and simpler searching this god 4 is becoming every day more and more stable and more usable now let's jump on beta 5 there are a ton of fixes like they say on the rendering of backends and they fixed countless errors in the inner class of GDScript's compiler and in the editor you have an add, undo and redo history doc right now and in the website there is the web editor right now that is working or at least it starts on the web and it seems to work and that's great because it happened a few times that I actually used the web editor when I was at work because I just wanted to test a few things that came in my mind and it worked quite nice with Godot 3, but now we have Godot 4 that is kind of starting to run on the web editor, and that's great. But they really say it, it is not yet usable in production. I mean, I never used it for production, but you can test your ideas. On the Android side, they upgraded Android Gradle plugin to version 7.2.1, and that's a huge thing because Android and Gradle are just nightmares if they don't work because you don't know how to act, especially if you don't know how to code or you are not familiar with the environment, like me, for example. You're going to be crazy, basically. I, I, I swear that I lost weeks working on Android because I wasn't able to actually make it work and export things. There's some improvement on the C-sharp part, but you know, I'm not using C-sharp and I can't say that much about that. And you can see that there's a lot of things that are happening right in the editor. Every day is becoming more and more stable and you can see that the editor improved dragging scenes into the 3D viewport. And that's great because, you know, having lagging scenes is quite annoying when you are working in the editor, you want things to be fluid. Here we have GD extensions as well, GD script improvements as well. I mean, things are moving quite fast and they're fixing tons of tons of bugs and why not? They're adding some what is missing basically. And the list goes on and on. Here on the XR side, they add a support for OpenGL and OpenXR and that's great as well because, you know, if you want to make things that are with the augmented reality or why not for the VR you need this stuff. Now the beta 6 just came yesterday and like I was saying on Twitter Remy said that they're releasing betas each week. That's crazy. Lots of improvement have happened to the multiplayer features and that's great if you want to make multiplayer games. And here they say that beta testers were starting to be vocal about the missing implementation of the canvas environment background mode. So Clay went ahead and fixed it. Here you have it. While you were asking, they fixed it. So please keep asking things so they understand what people needs and what devs needs. And Tokage greatly optimized the animation blend tree process, which should give a nice performance boost on complex animations. And that's great again, because if you have animations, you need that optimization. There is some improvement here on the rendering side, fixing variables, rates, shading issues, finishing implementing canvas background mode, and fix drawing 2D skeletons in the RD renderer. Windows, I can export improvements, finally. Finally. And you can see that things are moving. If you want, you can download right now Get Out 4 Beta 6 and use it. And why not report in bugs? Because that helps. Ask them for the features. The releasing date is coming near and near, and they're doing a great job. 
tell me what do you think about these fast updates that they're releasing and this was really just a small video don't forget to subscribe to the channel leave a like and comment down below turn on the bell notification to not lose any of my future videos and keep diving games